is going on everybody i hope y'all been safe y'all been chilling and y'all wearing your mask <laughs> yes wear your mask amen amen <laughs> i hope y'all been good though for real i hope y'all been good though and as y'all can see from the title we're gonna talk about lab code 21 so for those that don't know it was a showcase earlier today for the character like really showing her moves and things like that and she is looking ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous oh they just messed up the rotation oh there we go yes yeah, she is looking ridiculous and the community is in a uproar like in a giant uproar i kind of feel like it's an overreaction though but it makes sense if y'all haven't seen the showcase i'll link it down below unfortunately i don't i can't put gameplay up because i stream from the ps5 and they don't have that kind of you know technology that they can record clips from like other stuff in the ps5 but um i'll link it down below so y'all can see but she has a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to forget it. I'm just kind of speaking off the top of my head for once and not writing my nose down like I usually do. But um, she has a barrier, which is crazy. Uh, she has a barrier assist. So I'm definitely not looking forward to people running triple barrier assist. That's going to be fun. Sarcasm. And... Uh, her A assist is this Lariat looking move that looks like Bardock almost. You know, the little spin. That mess is plus 40 on block. <laughs> plus 40 on block. And she has a beam for her C assist. So she has three good assists. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all done heard about the command grab, which is crazy. A 21... Uh, 21 damage nerf to your character and a 21 damage buff to her specials like Yamcha and Majin Buu players finna definitely be 20 touching out here. <laughs> they definitely finna be 20 touching but I, you know I, I can't even laugh. I can't laugh too much because the homie go team's definitely finna be 10 touching or at least 15 touching with that debuff on. <laughs> it's about to get real out here. It's definitely about to get real out here. And this girl has at least a million lows, which is crazy. Probably the most lows i ever seen in this game so far. Got a million lows. Got a command normal overhead like Kefla. But the only difference is hers is actually better than Kefla's because she can combo from it by herself. Like, this character legit has everything. Normally, when people say that about characters, they, you know, they kind of just over-exaggerating, but this character legit has everything. Everything. <laughs> and she even has, uh, what, what's the, of course, gotta have an EX move that goes 90% of the screen. I'm so tired of these EX moves that go full screen. I wish they stopped doing that. <laughs> it, it, You know, that is a personal thing for me. It just... It comes off so corny, you know. Oh, let me EX just randomly in neutral. Can't get punished for it. Has little to no recovery. And then if it hits you, I'm basically about to kill you. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't really like the whole let me spam EX moves that go full screen stuff. And before somebody comments and say, but you do it with Gogeta. Or well, if somebody thinking that, I hate it with him too. <laughs> but... Uh, I am gonna buy her when she come out because I think I'm gonna do a guy video for her because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to play with her and I'm gonna learn how to fight against her because I feel like she's gonna be one of them characters that you have to know how to approach her what can she do what she can't do because if you go in blind against her just from the move set that she has you are definitely gonna get smoked <laughs> You you got you're gonna get clapped, like a hundred percent, and you know 
I'm in the business of I don't really like to complain too much. I try to get that out of my system as much as possible. You know, complain less and try to figure it out. If you can't figure it out, you know, it is what it is. But I ain't going to really complain too much unless it's Vegito, F that character. But, <laughs> or no, F the 5M. Well, you know, no, 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 F Vegito, F the whole character. And, uh... But yeah, the community is in an outrage about it. And it probably don't make it better that they didn't announce a season four, nor did they announce a patch, you know, which is kind of discouraging. And then you see this lab co character just comes out of the clear blue and look like she about to terrorize everybody. And we got no patch. No, it kind of sucks. I kind of, I feel why people are concerned and a little disappointed about it. And if you see her, you know, I normally don't really care when people say, well, I play this character, if this character do that. Lab Coat is actually one of those characters. She legit just does everything. And it's like, you know, I was hoping, or I do hope in the future, if they still do decide a patch down the line that, you know, they can at least buff the more vanilla characters like Yamcha, uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and for those that saw my lab and team videos, you know, Yamcha ain't that bad to me. You know, contrary to popular belief, Yamcha ain't that bad to me. He has flaws, as does any character. But, you know, he not bad to me. But it's like a lot of these characters are starting to look outdated the more these DLC characters come out. Like, if you look at the stuff 21 can do, like, this girl can loop her supers solo. She has an OTG, which is basically if you're on the ground, she can do a move that picks you back up. She can loop supers into herself. And it's like, you know, and that's the kind of thing that annoys me too. You take away stuff from characters, then you give it to another character. You know, so the character is definitely looking silly. You know, even though I feel like it is a bit overreaction how people feeling, it it does make sense if you watch her showcase or if you've seen it already <laughs> and the one thing I hope which I've been seeing people say is gonna be GT Goku all over again I feel like that's a bit of a stretch because GT Goku is just an effing menace in season two but I hope we don't go to those times where it feel like you have to use 21 I'm not gonna use it regardless I'm gonna just ride it out with my team no matter what but I hope, you know, that that don't be the case and then everybody using 21 because then it is just season two all over again, which is probably the, the dark times, in my opinion, for DBZ was definitely season two. Like majority of the cast was just basically unplayable and everybody just had to use the same character. That's my only hope about 21 that I hope doesn't come to, how you say, fruition. But... I think that is all. I just just want to ramble on a little bit, talk to y'all, and you know, let y'all know my thoughts on 21. She looks cool though. She looks cool. Definitely unique. She honestly looks better than the regular 21. That's just from how I look, you know. But she definitely looks like she much better than the regular 21. <laughs> but I'll let y'all go now. <laughs> y'all been a wonderful audience listening to me. And I hope y'all have a nice, peaceful, blessed, and prosperous day. And I need to get some sleep so I can go to church in the morning. <laughs> so I'll see y'all around and y'all take care.